Oh, I had a bad dream of a bird chasing me. <laughs> I look scared of birds. Well, it's not just any bird, but a bird that terrorized the land just like the dinosaurs. Really? Yes, to make you understand their terror, let me answer a terrific question. What if terror birds didn't go extinct? Zoom in! Millions of years ago, the most fearsome predator in South America was Tyrannosaurus rex. However, after a massive asteroid hit Earth 66 million years ago, it led to the extension of most giant lizards. Nevertheless, the reign of terror wasn't over as even more dangerous predators emerged and the deadliest among them was a bird known as the terror birds, also known as forest racids. Yes, standing over 10 feet tall, weighing 300 pounds and armed with deep hooked beaks, these creatures sent shivers down the spine of other creatures as they ruled the grasslands of South America between 53 million and 18,000 years ago. Not only that, but terror birds also had elongated lower leg bones which allowed for longer strides and increased speed, similar to modern-day ostriches. This structure revealed that when terror birds walked or ran, they most likely put most of their weight on two of their toes while keeping the third toe lifted off the ground. This toe could be used to pin down prey, helping the terror birds immobilize their victims while they attacked with their powerful beaks. Unfortunately, around two million years ago, Due to various factors such as climate change, continental shift, and a lack of food resources, these creatures were driven to extinction. But this makes us wonder, what if terror birds had managed to survive the changing world and still roamed our lands? In that case, firstly, like many apex predators, Terror birds would still be ruling the lands, feeding upon smaller animals such as rodents. Simultaneously, they would likely have influenced the evolution of other species to develop heightened senses and faster speeds to evade these predators, shaping the biodiversity of the planet in unexpected ways. Even early humans would have found it hard to confront these creatures one-on-one, -on -one, affecting migration patterns and settlement strategies, ensuring they didn't encounter these fearsome creatures in their daily lives. But after the invention of tools and weapons, humans would have managed not only to defend themselves, but also to hunt these creatures for food feathers and other resources. As a result, over time, the population of terror birds would have dwindled and these once majestic creatures would have become endangered. Today, recognizing the need to prevent their extinction, efforts would have been made to establish special reserves where scientists and conservationists would work tirelessly to study and monitor the remaining terror bird populations, implementing measures to ensure their survival. In conclusion, the idea of terror birds not going extinct reminds us of the importance of looking after the species we have now to ensure a healthy planet for ourselves and future generations. Trivia time! Did you know the largest terror bird species called Kelican Guillermo was discovered in Patagonia in 2006? Yes, this incredible bird had the largest skull of any known species, measuring a whopping 71 centimeters in length. It's catching time! 
Today's sketch of the day goes to Zanya Navid. Hope you had fun today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Well, never mind. <laughs>